What's up, y'all? It's the girl Keish. So, what we're doing today is um, I'm gonna show y'all how to put my makeup on. I know I look real crazy, y'all. I'm used to really seeing me like this, and I promise you, even though I'm part of the bald headed hose club, there is hair, it's just braided down. So, I've had a lot of people tell me that they like my makeup, they like how I apply it, things of that nature. What do I do? And I, although I'm not a basic chick, I keep my Makeup very minimal and as basic as possible. We're going to do full coverage today. And so I've been having people ask me all the time, how do I do my ombre lips? How do I do this? How do I do that? And so I am going to go ahead and create my first content video. Now, my content creators and all y'all that are pros, do not come for me um, with my editing of my video because this video is not going to be edited. It's going to be very rough. And until I learn how to edit, this is what y'all going to get. Okay. Y'all asked for me to show you how to do my face. You didn't ask for no editing skills. I'm sure later on in life, I'll get better at it. But this is what it's going to be for now. My estheticians do not come for me with what I do to my face and what I put on my face I put on what's on put on my face what works for me and you have to do what works for you now I cannot guarantee this is a disclaimer that any of the stuff that I put on my face is not gonna break you out okay I don't use high quality um, makeup I don't use expensive makeup I use what works for me in my skin type okay so it doesn't matter what kind of makeup you use you don't have to have Mac you don't have to have Fenty you don't have to have any of that you have to use makeup that works for you okay also <clears throat> my MUAs do not come for me with my makeup application with my brushes with any of that like I said I do what works for me you do what works for you okay so there are gonna be some things that y'all ain't gonna probably like you're gonna cringe about listen y'all come for me in my comment in my comments I'm just gonna delete your comments because I really don't care like I said my face be beat to the gods and um yeah but this is bare basics with killer so um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have out for today that I'm going to um, do. I am actually getting ready to go out and um, have a Sunday fun day with my girls. And so get ready with me. All right. So I'm going to show y'all what I have and what I'm using today, which is pretty much what I use almost on an everyday basis. And that is the following. So we have our um, even lashes and we do have our... Um, matte lippies by Beauty Mart. We have a MAC pencil that's in the shade of Dartmouth Black, just a regular old, you know, hair store. I can't use um, latex glue, so it's latex free. We have our um, lip blending brush. We have several blushes by BB. And we have my, I have my eyebrow contouring. I love this foundation because it has was matched perfectly for my skin and we have our pro conceal um concealers and our eyebrow brushes and powders and whatnot so let me get set up and um then we will start but like i said don't come for me i'm new to this and i'm sensitive about my shit <laughs> all right one sec okay so I am fresh faced. Um, I normally wash my skin with CeraVe um, foaming facial cleanser and I follow up with um, with the CeraVe uh, moisturizing lotion. Okay. And um, I've moisturized. I don't um, have any sunscreen on today. I know my esthetician is going to be mad about that, but at the end of the day, um, it's not really sunny outside and it doesn't matter. If you like to use sunscreen, use a sunscreen. Okay. But um, it's not important for me. So, I always start with um, a good old um, base. Some of you guys start with a primer. This is my primer, okay? So, um, what I do is I have a primer brush. Please don't get on me about my brushes. I clean my brushes every, I don't put makeup on every single day, so I don't clean my brushes regularly, but um, I will just, I will start doing that. If you don't clean your brushes regularly, you can break out. Like I said, let's go ahead and give a disclaimer. What I put on my face might not work for your face. Please do not come back and tell me that it broke you out because like I said, what I do for me might not work for you. If you wanna use my techniques, go on ahead and use them because I'm just trying to make things easier for you um, and show you how I get my face the way that I get it. And um, whatnot. So um, good luck with your endeavors. Um, hopefully I don't go too fast for y'all. Please make sure that you comment. And if you have questions, I try to answer them as best as I can. I am not an MUA. I am not an MUA. I am not an esthetician. Okay. I'm just a girl 
who learned how to put her makeup on by watching her mama and her cousins and a little bit of stuff on YouTube and just looking at stuff and experimenting, okay? So, um, you know, do you do what, do what works best for you, okay? I normally apply this because I'm always um, moving quickly. I normally just apply this with my fingers. If you want to use a brush, you can. It's completely up to you. Um, the brush for me takes too much time, but I just want to show you guys um, application process. Um, you don't have to put too much on there. Like I said, the um, estheticians are cringing, um, and that's fine. Um, I haven't had any issues once I remove my makeup off my skin um, or have any, had any breakouts, okay? So, like I said, you have to do what's best for you. I have very oily skin, so... This helps with um, making sure that my makeup stays on um, for however long that I'm out and also gives me a very matte um, finish and minimizes my oil um, output throughout um, throughout the day or wherever I'm at, okay? So I just apply this wherever I'm putting the makeup at. I am gonna be putting on a wig as well. We are still trying to figure out what wig we are going to wear. It is a brisk. 62 degrees outside here in Dallas, Texas. And just trying to figure out what wig is going to go with my outfit for today. I do not dip this in the bottle. I just pour it out onto the brush because I don't, um, I don't, listen, I, and it's not name brand. It's, it's generic and it all works the same. Um, I do not use this in any way, shape, or form when I have a stomach ache. This is purpose. This is strictly for um, my makeup application and whatnot. Okay. Make sure not to get it on the eyebrows, especially if you're going to be um, putting your eyebrows on or drawing your eyebrows on, okay? Try to make sure you stay um, away from that area as much as possible. If you get some on your eyebrows, just wipe it off. But concentrate on your areas that um, you um, are the oiliest in. And mine is um, in my nose area here and um, my cheeks. I also make sure that you... Um, you can, if you get it on your mouth, it's fine. You can just wipe it off. But, um, it also helps under the eyes because it stops with the creasing. I'm going to put a little bit more on and then we're going to move on to foundation application. Like I said, do what works best for you. Gonna have to do exactly what I do. I am not a professional. Try to get as much, even as much even even coverage as you can. Keep in mind as it starts drying and you apply more, it will make it a little bit uneven. Just try to cover those spots up. Okay. Let me straighten this up. I know I look crazy, but it'll all come together at the end. All right. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for a second. Okay, so we're dry, as dry as we're gonna get. And um, see how good of time we're running on. It's 3.22, I need to hurry up. Okay, so um, some people start off with a concealer. I do not. This um, foundation is by um, Il Marquage. Um, I happened to see it on um, Instagram a few years ago and um, took the test sent it in and um, they sent me my shade. So um, I just, you know, try not to touch it with your skin, um, but um, 
and I'm actually getting low. Some people go ahead and they put the, um, the foundation on their brush or you apply it to your face. It's whatever works for you. Due to time constraints, we are going to go ahead and put this on. We don't need a whole lot. This will cover the rest of my face. I know it looks a bit orange. We're going to even it out. And for time purposes, I am going to finish applying this and tap. Don't rub it in. Tap it. Okay. This will all end up blending out with my neck. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go finish applying this and I will be back. Okay. Promise you I didn't do nothing magic. I love this concealer. So we have covered the face, as you can see, and um, I have blended it down to my neck. And so what we are gonna do now is we are going to, let me put this back on. We're gonna do our concealer and Sometimes I will do a concealer and sometimes I won't. Um, I use, my color is Espresso. And um, I also use Chestnut, which is a slider. I also use Chestnut to contour my, um, my eyebrows as well. Let that sit for just a second. While I'm letting this sit, multitask, multitasking is good. Like I said, these are... One of my favorite pairs of eyelashes by um, Even. It's called uh, Catitude, Sexy Cat. And the um, name of these ones is Libra. So while you are letting this sit for a second, um, put your glue on your eyelashes. It saves time. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on my eyelashes. And I'm going to apply those. And I'll be right back. I use um, Grip Bond. I think it's made by... Um, it's by Even as well, so it's Grip Bond, um, latex-free lash glue. Okay, so I blended in my concealer, and um, the reason why I said put the glue on your lashes is because while you're blending, um, your lash glue will dry, and then you can just go ahead and put your lashes on, and your lashes will be ready. So um, I have a couple more seconds left for those lashes to dry. Um, not going to really get into lash application on here, um, but um, I guess maybe maybe we could do one. So, and then once we do that, um, we're going to do eyebrows and. Um, do a lip, and then we're gonna apply our hair, and then we're gonna get up out of here. So, let's give these a few more seconds to dry. It takes a little bit longer for the lashes to dry when you have latex-free glue compared to latex glue. So, waiting for the glue to dry. So, um, what I use is um, Ruby Kisses, and it's a mineral powder, and I use it in um, Chestnut, which is a 14. And this is just basically just to set my foundation. I don't bake. I don't contour, I don't do any of that. And I know I look really, really orange. It is just the light that I'm using um, while I'm recording. So, you just wanna set the powder in place. Also, make sure that when you're applying your makeup, you don't have your clothes on. And if you do, have a white shirt or another shirt on top of your clothes so that you don't get makeup on your clothes, okay? Bear with me. We're going to see if we can get this on. and Because I want nobody to be like, you didn't show us how to put on no lashes. Let's see if we can do this, okay? Because uh, it doesn't happen instantaneously for me. Especially with these type of lashes. The bigger lashes, sometimes I have problems with. But you do have to make sure that your glue is dry and set when you do it, like I said. And also make sure there is no glue on... your tweezers um it's easier for me to use tweezers than to use the little lash gripper things i don't like them um they don't work for me um latex free glue is tricky because like i said it takes longer for it to dry and you have to play with it a little bit for the lash to set
A lot of people like the magnetic lashes. I'm not a fan. If you would like to purchase magnetic lashes, my cousin sells them. I will put her link um, on the page as well. But um, we do get this, got this one on. We're going to put the other one on so that we can move forward just to save time. <clears throat> so I know you're probably thinking like, uh, how do you get your lashes? So I put the lash on um, and I take the my individual lashes and I just kind of blend it in with the actual lash. Okay. Um, please make sure you have no moisture on your eyeballs because especially with this latex free glue, it will prevent the lash from sticking. If you already if you have trouble getting any glue off of your tweezers, um, nail file works. Just a little trick. Because if you have glue on there, your lashes will stick and it'll be hard to apply them. Make sure you catch any flyaways, um, and I'll fix this off camera um, because no one likes a lash that waves. <laughs> okay. All right. I always just use the tip. Please be careful to not poke your eyeball out. Um, just to blend my lash in with the um, with the false lash. Okay. And there you have it. With those, I think lashes give me the are the most time consuming outside of my um, my lips, okay? All right, so, and always carry your lash glue with you just in case, cause you rub your eyeball the wrong way and this thing will pop off. All right, um, this one is lifting a little bit. I'm going to add some more glue, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to do lashes. I told you this is going to be a 30, 25 to 30 minute beat, and I promise that. One second. Okay, so what we're going to do next is these eyebrows. Um... I have lupus and fibromyalgia, and so lupus made my eyebrows fall out, and so I've had to learn them draw, to learn to draw them on. One eyebrow is way more full than the other one. Um, I do use this um, Go Brow Masters Three in One by Ruby Kisses. It has the um, the pencil, um, and then along with the spool tool you can brush out your lashes or excuse me, brush out your um, eyebrows and then it also has a highlighter I don't use a highlighter I use my um, concealer instead so um, between this and just a regular um, brow pencil um, which is just in a dark brown I use those and um, like I said it all just I just go with the natural shape of the la of the brow nothing special I'm just going to show you this one and um, then I'm going to do the other one, like I said, to save time. But I don't be doing nothing special, y'all. I promise y'all don't. It all just depends on how long you want your tail. I'm very dramatic, so I like mine long. I don't go too deep over here because you want to make them look as natural as possible, okay? And I know I'm going super fast. But once you get the hang of it, it becomes real simple from second nature, okay? So I am going to brush these out and get these together. I'm going to do the other side, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to highlight and I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? I felt it would only be fair for y'all to see this because y'all going to be like, she did some witchery off camera and I promise you I didn't, okay? But... This side is really sparse, and so I have to um, be a little bit more creative on how to uh, form the brow because there's not a lot there, okay? And I just try to make sure that I make them look as um, look the same as possible. I'm about to say because I'm not working with a lot over here. This is when your artistry has to come in, okay? <laughs> and it's going to take more than one try to get this. Both my eyebrows don't never look the same, but most times um, this side is covered, um, but they do look almost the same. But most times this side is covered with hair. Um, 
and um, I can kind of get away with it not looking the same as the other side. I do make sure that I measure to make sure that both sides are the same because I won't be out here looking crazy. Okay. All right. And um, you want to make sure that you blend. I rarely use this pen. I rarely use this pencil. I use the other pencil, but when it comes to this side that's more sparse than the other, I will go in and I will fill in and use this more one more so more so than the actual um, eyeliner or eyebrow pencil. Okay. And just some areas over here that are sparse, I will use this pencil for um, because it just blends better. Okay. So you're going to take your concealer, the lighter one. This is chestnut. Um, and you are just going to make sure you don't have a whole bunch on here. Just go ahead and um, outline your brow. Top and bottom. So that you can get to the desired shape that you're looking for. I know my eyebrows look a little thick. Once I get in and um, with my brush, they'll thin out, okay? eyebrow brush my BB and basically I just contour and um, shape my brow and you could shape your brow however you want them you could have them as thick as you like you can have them as thin as you like it's all based on your preference okay so now that you guys have the gist of this and to make sure that we don't have a hard line um, I'm going to go ahead and finish these off camera and then I am going to come back and we are going to apply lips and hair and baby we're going to be out the dough. I do want y'all to see how it, how I, how I basically, how I sculpt them. Cause like I said, I'm going with a thicker brow today because of the hair that I'm going to wear. Um, but I normally like a thin brow. But I like them to look as natural as possible. Okay. I don't use brow powder. <laughs> I don't got time for that. Um, like I said, but you can. You could just do whatever works for you. Okay. I always use a lighter foundation or a lighter concealer, excuse me, because I want my eyebrows to pop. Eyes and lips on my face are the focal point, okay? This side is always easier because ain't that much eyebrow. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, <laughs> finish the rest of this up and start the process for my lips. And we have about seven more minutes so we can finish this face, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do the lips, like the eyebrows, y'all, okay? I'm a perfectionist. I did some stuff off of camera. All I did was just try to clean them up a little bit more. Um, we are going to do a matte lippy and y'all have asked me multiple times about my ombre we are doing four colors today okay and so um i always start with black baby black is my black is my base and this is just a regular black lip liner from your beauty supply Nothing special. Okay. I do like a deep uh, peak at the top of my lips. While I'm at it, um, I always just define my eyes and I will put just a little bit of black in the corner. I don't do the full eyes. It just makes the eyes pop a little bit more, okay? So, it starts the process. Like I said, it looks crazy at first, but trust the process, please. And yes, I did use my eye pencil, my lip, uh, well, it is an eye pencil, but yes, I'm using it on my lips, okay? All right, now, this is um, Night Moth by uh, MAC. Stephanie uh, Hunter Ray put me onto this years ago. She used to wear this with Ooh Baby. 
and um, Night Moth and Ooh Baby are beautiful together, but we're not going shiny today. So. Let me fill this in. I'll be right back. Don't fill it in all the way. This is just the next stage with the Night Moth. And after you're done with the Night Moth, then you're going to take your... Um, it's called Dakar by Beauty and Company, but the new name of the company now is um, Siwa. And I will put all the links and stuff on here. So I normally take this and um, I'm getting low and I just go ahead and fill in. I also use Crown Case by Supa. And you want to block. Now, you can stay like this if you want to because it is cute. But, like I said, y'all know I'm extra. Be careful with putting these on because they're matte and they will cake up, okay? So, then I go in with Nairobi. You could stay like this if you want to, like I said, but I don't. Black, because it has to dry. Sometimes I will go back in with a pencil because like I said, just to achieve the look that I'm trying to get. But I want I want y'all to see all five colors stuff still, okay? And then we go in with, um, I want to say this is um, a Aruba, yeah, this is Aruba, and so I just take this. Trust the process, baby. You gotta do this black. Helps to dry, helps to set. And most of y'all will be happy with this. But not I. Okay. So um also make sure to put it inside. Do it. Okay. And the reason why I keep adding more is because you do, you want to make sure that it's subtle. You don't want it to be like super loud. Um, you want them to all blend. And we also have a blending brush that we're going to use to show you how to do that, okay? I'll either go back in. Because it's just supposed to be a focal point, okay? All right. So then I go in with my um, Asmara. Okay, this is the lightest one, and you just use a little bit, okay? You don't want to manipulate it too much, too, because it, like I said, it cakes up. The more you add on, it cakes up. So you just want to make sure that uh, you come through and you blend. Out with that brush. Okay. And that's our lid. Okay, so I'm going to put my wig on. I'm going to be back. We'll do a wig thing another day, but we almost at 30 minutes, like I said. Okay, so I am, um, don't worry about that bra. I'm putting on a jean jacket. So I am going to 
um, start my uh, spray down so that my uh, we can adhere my wig to my head. And then I'll be back for the final, final look. We did meet 30, actually 29 minutes and 50 seconds. If I hadn't did a lot of the stopping and stop, um, starting, it would not have took a full 30 minutes for this phase. Okay? Be right back. I figured I'd show you all this. Um, I get this. I got this band from my cousin, but you can get them at any beauty supply store or Amazon. It just helps the wig stay on a little bit tighter because I'm not using a beauty supply store wig. My wig was custom made by Lavish uh, Wigs. And um, so... It needs, um, it doesn't have your average combs like that in the front. So for um, double um, protection, I use Got To Be Glued, and this is the Blasting Free Spray, and then I use the Got To Be Glued um, Ultra Glued Invisible Styling Gel, and it keeps my wig on. Um, it kept my wig on through a whole tornado in Dallas that I was out and about and didn't need to be. Um, put this around your edges. As y'all can see, my edges are still intact. I do not sleep in my wigs unless I have an actual um, install with a ball cap and the um, like a bold hold glue or something like that. I'm not endorsing any of these products. I put this on because it's a little bit stickier for me than the Gots to be. Um, And it just holds better. Normally I have a blow dryer to dry it, but um, due to time constraints, we are not doing that today. Y'all would be glad I love y'all for y'all to even see me <laughs> in this light. Um, I have a little pee head, so um, I have to um, make sure that I have as much coverage as I can to keep this um, wig from flying off in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so we're just going to wait for this to dry. And then I'm going to put my wig on. I'm going to show y'all how to put a wig on. If y'all know how to put a wig on, I don't know what to tell you. And if you need a tutorial for me to show you how to do that, then I can. But um, I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back, baby. And the wig is on, honey. It's on, baby. It's on. Okay? So I'm letting the uh, glue do its thing, honey. And uh, I just want to make sure I'm good before I walk about this house. So um, what I also do... Um, is, um, I tie my hair, I tie my hairline down so that we can make sure we have extra protection and that this mug does not, uh, decide that he want to pop up. Okay. This other earring on real quick. All right. So I'm going to, uh, Put this up in a bun and then tie it and then um yeah be right back okay so this is just an elastic band um my cousin makes wigs and so she gave me this band when she first gave me this wig this is a human hair wig i don't know the uh the curl pattern i don't know if it's a brazilian curl or whatever the case may be um but um it's kind of like a wet and wavy type of thing. It's uh, really easy to take care of. I've had this wig for three years. When she first gave it to me, I believe it was like <laughs> almost 40 inches long. For most of y'all, I'm short. Um, I'm 5'1", so I'm really only like... Um, <laughs> I'm really only... Let's see. There is... Uh, Listen, I, I'm 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 too close to uh forty some odd inch, inches, you know, in regards to a wig being um almost as long as I am. Okay. So anyway, um I hope y'all learned a lot. And um if there's any other videos that y'all would like for me to do and teach y'all, uh, I'd be more than happy to. Any other lip combos that you would like for me to do for you, I can. Like I said, this is just the start of what I'm doing as far as my content creating. Um, but I hope that this video was helpful and like and subscribe, tell a friend, and I guess I'll see y'all with the next video. I'll take a picture later on and post it so that y'all can see the complete look. All right. Smooches. Don't forget to subscribe.